hi good morning um welcome welcome back to my channel um today today is working in my studio all day i have an order um that i need to make i forgot again i think it's six batches of different soaps and um i need all the energy i can get to be standing there in that studio all day so i have oops i have i'm gonna make a juice today normally i make a smoothie or a juice depending how i want to break fast or how easy you know how quick i wanted to do it or whatever i'm in the mood today since i have some fruits in the fridge and i don't want them to go bad um and i don't have like frozen strawberries or anything to do smoothies so i'm gonna do a juice i have a lime i have one whole apple, a um, few carrots, two oranges, and a ginger. And that's what's gonna be in my breakfast today. And I have a juicer. It's it's a cheapy juicer I bought through Amazon just to, you know, get the feel of it or whatever. I also got this, not idea because it's not their idea, but, um, that's how they did it to lose weight. My cousin and his wife, Joman Viera and Aitza Viera from the Viera family vlogs. Um, they have a family channel in Spanish. Um, I don't know if I should do my channel like bilingual, half Spanish, half English, or that would be a lot. Um, that gives me a headache. But. Um, yeah, so um, um, everything I'm doing is because I've been encouraged by them. Filming. Um, juicing. They're an inspiration to me. So, with that being said, I'm going to put you down in a different angle so you can see, like, how the machine, the machine you, you know, does the juices and stuff like that. So... It might not be that much juice for today because I don't have, it's only two oranges and maybe one apple and it'll be good, I hope. Um, so yeah, let me change the angle. Okay, this is the best I can do as far as the angle. You're in my coffee station. I have two Nespresso machines and then I have a French, a French press and a Krega and my juicer all in this station. So it's all I can do. Um, let's begin. for me right now um no one else is in my house does juicing um my husband might but not really um so this is what i made um one apple two oranges a lime um ginger um and carrots and i just put it in my cute little fancy juice, so I feel special. <laughs> and I just pour it in. I like my drinks cold. That's why I got ice in there. Ooh. Let me see. Oh, I can smell the ginger. Oh my God, that's so good. Ooh. It's like a good... <clears throat> 
but it's so good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, it's very tart. I think it's the lime or lemon, whatever. The yellow one. Um, this is gonna be a good picker upper. <laughs> Oops. Mm hmm. So good. Oh my goodness. Normally I would put celery. Um, turmeric. I got turmeric there, cause the, but the last time I did a turmeric and ginger, that was just way too much for for me. I do either one or the other, but not the two at the same time. Um, and it's so pretty, like the color. No additives, no fake sugars, no nothing. This is the way I'm breaking fast. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the way I'm breaking fast. And it's my breakfast and it'll hold me up until maybe lunch i can probably make another one for lunch and then i'll have dinner so good so good all right let's see for this segment of juicing with jessica hey oh that should be a good segment juicing with Jessica. Bye. Hello. Again, another awkward angle or weird angle, but it's the best I can do with what I have, which is just my cell phone. I have more tripods than I have equipment to record. <laughs> um, let me just sit down here. It's better. I just washed dishes. And so now I have to dry all of them to then start measuring all the oils and butters to do um, one, two, three, four, five batches, a wholesale order um, from a customer. And so they order a batch of El Caballero, which is tobacco and bay leaf, um, an order of The Dude, which is um, Amber Waters um, fragrance oil, um, an order of lavender, sandalwood, and orange patchouli. Oof, that one is divine. That one smells so great. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to dry out all of this that I, I wash dishes after my juice I, I I did more laundry than a guy or a girl at a restaurant say what yeah that was a lot I hate dishes I, I hate doing dishes soap dishes are the worst because all that soap stays dry there I wash I wash them with extremely hot water I, I'm immune to the hot water, so it doesn't affect me. But, um, yeah, it's crazy. So, I have my own little, sorry, um, fiber um, towel. That's what I use to dry it down. Not completely. They don't need to be completely dry. But at least, like, the excess water. Just like shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. You're here in my studio. I would do a, a a tour of my studio some other day. It's not the fanciest thing, but it works perfectly for me. Um, I can work in because I have my own desk. Let me sit down again while I drag this up. I have my own desk with my laptops and computers and things so I can um, do admin work for all the businesses that I have and that I work. 
also to take my classes for um, notary public and remote online notary. Both my sisters are. And little by little, as I get time off, then I'll do one session, one session, one session. Um, that will be another side hustle that I will do. I do a lot of little side hustles. I refuse to work at the corporate office or corporate world again. I work for a major corporate office that I will not um, share the name for privacy purposes. Um, but yeah, I refuse to work for the corporate world. And um, it's just not for me. I have too many ideas and too I'm too hands on on things that I do that they didn't give me the opportunity to move forward in the company just because I didn't have a degree. Um, but here I am training supervisors, coordinators. And all these new kids that come in that have that are clueless, that have no idea accounting. I've been doing accounting for over 20 years. And um, but when I went to apply, I didn't qualify for for the position. Anyways, enough of that. That's in the past and will no longer exist in my life. All right. Corporate world is not for this one. Not for me. I love what I do now. It's a little bit of everything. And now we're recording my videos. Whether you get anything out of it, whether it is encouragement or um, you learn something from me, it's fantastic. You can leave me a comment. And, um, you can leave me a comment, like, share, subscribe. I would greatly appreciate all of it. All of it, all of it. All of it. Oh, these are all clean already. I need to. Um, but yeah, this is it. I'm just going to keep drying out all my dishes. And then start measuring for the oils. Hopefully I got enough. Um, like olive oil or coconut oil. If not, I can always run to the supermarket. Um, I can get them, you know, as long as they're organic. Organic um, coconut oil. Organic. Um, olive oil I know I have avocado oil and hemp seed oil I have enough of that um, but oops I think olive oil I need to go get and coconut at least I can do probably maybe like two batches sorry but that's fine because I can um, run to the supermarket really quickly to get those. My supermarket is so close for me that it will be no big deal. No big deal. My pipettes. I think I have to kind of reorganize a little bit. That will be, let me pick you guys up a little bit. That will be in a different video. Um, go over ingredients and things. Maybe they are expired or anything. Just toss them out and restock on those. I think I'm done with that. Let me see. Finish quicker than I expected. I thought I had 
more of this. These are great. These are from Dollar Tree. And I like it better than, even though the glass is perfect, but this gets very heavy to pour. And once the battery is here, these are lighter. So it's easy to maneuver. Um, and I get this at the Dollar Tree. I thought I had more. I don't know why I only have three. I could have swore I had like five or six. Anyways, that's that. This will give me one, two, three, four batches. Four batches of soap. And then I will rinse one out to start all over again for the other one. And this, I have plenty of these. These are great. These I got from Amazon. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I got a few other ones around Amazon. These I got from Walmart. The Pyrex. Oh no, these are Anchor. Walmart. And I got this set of these. These I got from Amazon. So I got this one, this one, and this one from Amazon. And then my mother-in-law found this one in, in a thrift shop. So she got it for me. Um, and I got the little one too that came with this. This little one. So this this set I got. No, hang on. This set I got in Amazon. And then this is the one that my mother-in-law found at the thrift shop. It's different. This is the Anchor Ho Hawking, Hawking, whatever. Same brand as this. And these Pyrex were from Walmart, um, Amazon. I can link it below if you need them. And then my mother-in-law also found this one. Uh, it's, it's a plastic one, which is good at a thrift shop. And I have these, oh my gosh, this is my line. This is, I did a master batch. This is enough for five batches of soap. So what I did is from my recipe for this customer, because I have, oh, my customer has, even if it's the same amount of everything, they all have their own recipe in my book. I have a book. And I, I did the amount of water times five, the amount of, um hydrogen peroxide and hydrogen peroxide <laughs> that's not it um the light solution which is this i get this at ace hardware um that times five and this is what it gave me so from here i have to measure 12 ounces 12.5 ounces for each each batch and that will make the soap so i have that master batched which is good that took forever to cool down. It, it got extremely hot. And um, yeah, that's it. So I am ready to start um, with, I gotta put some of this stuff away and still clean up the area so I can get more ready. And then maybe put you in a different angle so that you can see down as I am working the batches. that I'm doing here it's um, the orange patchouli and I have the um, fragrance oil already measured I use turmeric for the color orange so one half will be it's gonna be a swirl I always do swirls um, so one half of it I'm gonna split it one half of it will be the turmeric and the other half will be the white kaolin clay and I have the water um, solution here already measured because I remember I did the master batch and I needed 
12.5 ounces for each batch. Each batch needs 12.5. I already melted um, the hard uh, butters and coconut oil. And now I pour the soft oils, um, avocado oil, hemp seed oil, and olive oil, all organic. And I like to give it a quick stir just to mix everything. <laughs> sure the oils and butters are incorporated completely and now we pour the lye solution the water and we burp it to remove um, excess bubbles and just pulse it I have it in a low setting, my um, blender. That was just a little bit more than a pulse, so it, um, so it blends together and emulsifies. sure that there's no separation because I will be blending once I add the turmeric and the kale and clay when I split it. see any separation so I'm going to it's already emulsified so I'm split it and then turmeric goes here you can also um mix a little bit of the oil with um, the powders or the clays so it stays moisture um, and it doesn't um, accelerate your batter okay oil and clay and now in each one this this fragrance oil is not gonna make uh, my batter accelerate um, so a little bit here and the rest here anyone change the color either it doesn't have vanillin and we'll start blending with the lightest color first. Oops, sorry, burp it. It's so loud. trace yet. It seems like this fragrance oil is a slow mover, which is really good. It's good when you're doing like swirls and things like that. You don't want your batter to accelerate much. You want some movement so that the swirl comes out really nicely. It's a light trace. the turmeric side or the orange something is right on got it see the orange and as the time passes 
masses and it's out the soaps are out and the elements you know because it's a little booth outside and the icon which is an outside store um with the sun and the elements they start fading out a little bit doesn't mean that the soap is going bad it's just that's just nature that's just nature <laughs> Not a trace yet. It smells so good. I love orange patchouli. I had ginger patchouli at one point. That one was really good as well from Brambleberry. And I also did my own blend. I use um, orange. What did I use? Patchouli, orange patchouli, and I think I use like lime and bergamot as well. And I call it citrus, citrus patchouli. Um, that one smells really good too. Those were my own blends with essential oils. I have a light trace. I don't want to dirty that one. So I'm just gonna put it here. And let me grab another spoon put under my reach. And so we just swirl it in there. Just give it a little bit of movement. And now we pour in um, the mold. You, you see how pretty it looks? And as it pours, oh man, it looks so great. Like a popsicle, a creamsicle. That's what it looks like. See, and I have the perfect measurement for it, for each. Um, for each mold. And some, when it's for me, I make extra batter because I make travel size soaps with it as well. To have in my line. And then we tap it a little bit. Sorry. We tap it to remove any excess bubbles. I gotta wait for it to settle a little bit and give it maybe like a little loop or something. I don't do much with the tops. I like a simple top. I like my swirls to speak for itself. Um... Sometimes I like giving it like a little, a little whoopy whoop. <laughs> this is what it looks like. This is the orange patchouli. And the colorings that I use, it's turmeric for the orange and white kaolin clay for the lighter color. And it's going to be a swirl. This this mold gets me 10 bars. They start at 4.8 ounces. And by the time they finish drying out, it's probably 4.5. So beautiful. So beautiful. Wet Sub Wednesday. There we go. Wet Soap Wednesday. Ah, how pretty. Look at all the sparkling shiny. Mira. Mira que lindo. Está hermoso. Precioso. Y huele 
Mm, excelente. order um, behind the scenes or you know um, not recording I'm gonna do the other one it's um, the dude so um, it's, it's the same the same um, process all the time the only difference is you know the scent and um, the colors used this um, this one right here is El Caballero or the gentleman it's it has um bramble berry tobacco and bay leaf and it's color where activated charcoal and uh, white kaolin clay this one right here is the orange patchouli um it is color with turmeric and white kaolin clay this one right here is my lavender it is color with I can't think of it right now. Let me look it up. Let me show you what it is. Alkanite root powder. Sorry about that. Um, it's color where alkanite root powder. Um, the powder itself is really burgundy, like a deep red, but as you can see, it turns into like a grayish purpley color um, after saponification, and then it has some um, lavender buds on it. And then this one is the sandalwood and it's colored with sandalwood powder and scented with sandalwood, sandalwood essential oil, which is really expensive. Um, so now I'm gonna um, mold them and put them and um, I'm gonna start cutting them and showing you the little patterns that it does. <music>
was it for today's video. Um, I um, show you how I do um, my batches of soap and how I do this small wholesale order. Um, and um, we're gonna end it here because I gotta do another batch, but it's pretty much the same process all the time. And maybe on the next video, um, you can come along with me as I prep for something else, whether it's a market or um, coordinate, um, how, how do I organize for the night. But for this video in particular, um, this is it. I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you for coming along. Um, again, the process made here, it's my process, what works for me. Everyone does it differently. Um, but it still ends up being a really good quality soap. Um, again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you a million times for watching this video, subscribing. If you haven't, please do so for liking and share. And if you want to leave a comment, be kind. And I greatly appreciate you. And I see you in the next video. Bye.